Well, hello there. New Melon Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll show you render settings for my project. Today we are working with this minimalistic looking Scandinavian style house. And the shot we're looking for is an early morning shot with some warm sun rays streaming inside the house. So let's start by uh, creating our base render. And a copy of the same thing for our effects. I'm going to apply uh, once again one of the Lumion preset styles, specifically a realistic one. It will uh, select the majority of the effects I will need for today. And I'm gonna add a couple of more. First volumetric sunlight. Just quickly disable it so we'll be able to see what we're doing. I'll come back to it later on. From a uh, weather tab we'll need fog and one more from the various tab uh, effect called God Rays. Once again, I'm going to disable uh, that one as well so it is not obstructing our picture. I'll come back to those after I adjust all the rest of the effects. So let's start with our sharpening tool, which is nice and easy. Just bring up the intensity uh, a little bit and that's it, we're done here. Uh, exposure always as last. So let's go to a color correction. As I mentioned, we're looking for some morning sun, which means it's gonna have uh, uh, sharp shadows and the color of the, of the light or the sun will be quite warm. So I'm going to bring it, bringing uh, the temperature up somewhere around there. As you can see, it is already warming up the, the whole picture. Uh, just a little bit of a vibrance to make the colors pop a little bit. Uh, perhaps a little bit uh, of a contrast as well. And I'll leave it at that for now. Moving on to uh, reflection. Now uh, we have a lot of uh, glass and reflective surfaces in here. So I'm going to select them quickly one by one. All the glass I can see in here. Obviously not forgetting the, uh, the pool and the water. Uh, also the, the floor, there is a little bit of a shine on the floor as well. Let me just check if there is one more, oh, there is one more at the back in here. And that should do it. So we done with the reflection in here with selecting. Don't forget to turn the speed rate reflections on. And we're done with this effect. Moving on to uh, hyperlight. Uh, at this moment, I'm just going to bring it only a little bit down. And that's it. This one is pretty easy and straightforward. Uh, skylight. Just going to bring the uh, brightness down a little bit and saturation up just a little bit. Not to forget uh, to turn the uh, planar and projected reflections on and the render quality to high. As I always mention, uh, both these effects, hyperlight and skylight, you will not be able to see the, the changes in, uh, in your viewer. So you need to do a couple of test renders to tell the difference. Moving on to uh, shadow. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, the, the coloring will be uh, very warm. So we want the shadows to be warm as well. So the coloring of the shadow all goes all the way down, which means it's gonna have a, a little um, reddish tint or a hue. Uh, perhaps the brightness up a little bit. So we get some, uh, some detail on the, on the wood on the roof. And we leave it on the interior side, which means it's gonna make it warmer once again. Uh, forget, uh, don't forget to turn the soft shadows and fine detail shadows on as well. So we're done with the shadows for now. Chromatic aberrations, this is already set uh, from Lumion. Perhaps the dispersion down just a tad. Like that, and depth of field. Uh, we want to create something, uh, some focus on uh, on our objects, so let's uh, select this uh, autofocus tool. We'll choose the dog as the main feature. He's on the same plane as uh, our main objects in here, these uh, two uh, characters. So I'm going to select the dog, turn the autofocus on. Immediately you can see the distance is around or exactly six, six meters. Now I'm going to bring the amount of blur up, somewhere around there, uh, quite strong over there and bring the foreground background towards the foreground. So it will keep the foreground and the background blurred 
and the focus of our attention will be on our main objects in here, in this uh, living room or whatever portion, main portion of the house. So we're done in there. So let's go back. Let's start with the fog. Those three effects that we chose in the beginning. So I'm going to bring the uh, fog density up somewhere around there. As you can see, it starts uh, creeping in through the woods. The fog fall off. Somewhere around there. I want to see uh, the tips of, uh, of the trees to be visible. So uh, somewhere around around there. So it's kind of like a morning mist coming from uh, from the forest. And let's see the brightness perhaps down just a little bit. Somewhere around there. So you can see it is the morning fog, not the, the regular uh, fog during the storm or let's say during the rain. The density perhaps just at the edge of the forest, like that. So we're done uh, with the fog, pretty happy about that. Perhaps you can adjust a little bit uh, the color of the fog to make it a little bit reflect the, the sunny rays, the warm sunny rays, a little bit into the orangey kind of a tint. Moving on to, um, let's do the volumetric sunlight first. Now this is a, quite a difficult effect to adjust, so I'm going to hold a shift to work on the brightness of it in here, which will, will allow me to uh, work on it in a smaller increments, as you can see. So I'm going to put just a little bit, somewhere around there. And let's see about the range. Yeah, I'm going to move it closer to, uh, towards the house, but not all the way to the lens. Somewhere around there, as you can see, it is moving away from the lens as you uh, adjust the range. So uh, for now, let's leave it over there. And the last one, called the God Rays, as you can see, is, is too strong for, for us. So let's bring the intensity down, somewhere around there. And perhaps the length, just to shorten it a little bit. As you can see in here, it's already uh, disappearing somewhere around there and the decay I would say somewhere around there okay it looks kind of realistic uh, anyway with these effects you have to do a couple of uh, test renders once again because it may look and it definitely will I can guarantee it will look a little different from uh, what you see in here in the viewer than uh, what you get in your final uh, render so we're done over there, and let's see if we have to work with the exposure. I would say just a little bit up, make it a little brighter, somewhere around there. Okay, so that looks about okay for me, perhaps. Just to have a look at the color correction, maybe a little bit warmer, a little bit of brightness, and maybe contrast as well. Okay, we got quite a lot of um, contrast going on in here, but that's what would you get with the morning uh, sun, pretty strong contrast. So there we are, I think we're ready for our final render. So let's have a look what we're going to get uh, today. So thanks for watching, stay well and stay creative.